What is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy Samori back at it again with another pregame preview. And on today's video, I'm going to be previewing our Las Vegas Raiders versus the New England Patriots going down this Friday for the very last preseason game of the 2022 season. And I'm finally happy because I'm done with the preseason already. Bring me the regular season. I can't wait for us to go one-on-one -on -one with the LA Chargers in our home away from home. You know, just to see Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, the whole nine yards. But you know what? We still got to wait for that to come. We're going to be talking about this game coming up tomorrow. And if you guys are going to be in the Las Vegas area for this game, let your host know down in the comments below. But before we get started with the show, I just wanted to let you know about the week zero. <laughs> I'm just joking. You see what I did there, man? Who told you you were funny? I want to remind you guys, Raider Nation, about the week zero Raider Nation kickoff party going down this Saturday. Yes, I said it this Saturday in Atlanta, California, August 27th from noon to 6 p.m. It's going to be a whole ass Raider Nation party in the high desert. Myself, as well as a lot of other content creators, we got Warren Sepp, Stu, we got a lot of other Raider players that's going to be coming through. And even Too Short and Corrupt is going to be performing live at the Atalanto Stadium. So if you are trying to come through, and party it up with the Raider Nation before the season does start, then hit the link down in the comment section below and get your tickets. Tickets are only $10 for the Raider Nation kickoff party. This event will be kicking off the Burning Trees Festival, so don't miss out, Raider Nation. With that being said, let's get started with your pregame preview. And you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. I know Raider Nation, that, that was Henry Ruggs. Trust me, I'm gonna change it before the season does start. But, you already know the vibes, man. We ain't starting no pregame preview without giving you guys some Nation news that you can use. First up, the Raiders will be hosting several alumni at the game tomorrow. The Raiders will showcase several hundred alumni at the preseason game against the Patriots, the only team in professional sports to treat their past players this way. Several days in Vegas at First Class Resort with a full calendar of events and entertainment. Bravo. I mean, this is great to hear. So if you guys are going to be at the Raider game and you're going to be somewhere near the wind club, you're going to be seeing a lot of former Raiders out there, including my guy, Stu. Al Davis was always about taking care of his former players. And I feel like that legacy has carried on to, you know, his son, Mark Davis. And it's great to see that we're going to be seeing a lot of former Raiders out there just supporting this team in the last preseason game versus the Patriots. And other news, though, let's talk about Indomitian Stu. Oh, my gosh. Stop. According to Tashawn Reed, I guess the Raiders are still interested in the veteran defensive tackle. The only thing, though, is that price. Because there's reports going around that Indomitian Sue is searching for $9 million a year. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And at that price point, I'm going to be like Chris Brown and chuck up them deuces because there ain't no way in hell that we're going to pay $9 million for an old-ass veteran defensive tackle like that, even though I would love to have him on the team. If he wants any chance to play for the Silver and Black, he's going to have to take that price and cut it in half. But again, for like the... 10th million time. Let me know your thoughts on Indama Kinsu and whether or not the Raiders should pay that $9 million or is my boy tripping. Last but not least, it looks like we might not be getting no steady show on Friday. According to reports, with Jared Stidham already winning the QB2 spot, Chase Garbers will be taking majority of the snaps versus the Patriots. Finally, the last preseason game is among us as the New England Patriots come to Sin City to face our Las Vegas Raiders, who, by the way, are 3 0 in preseason. This will be the first meeting between both teams till week 15 of the regular season. And even though this is only an exhibition game and it may not mean much to the fans, it's still an important game for those fighting for a spot on the roster or even the practice squad. After making several roster moves, especially trading away Nick Mullins, it looks like Jared Stidham has won the QB2 spot behind DC. So we won't be seeing him in action, meaning it'll most likely be the Chase Garber show on Friday night. The Patriots, on the other hand, could be rolling with Bailey Zapp for the majority of this game, so he's definitely a guy to look out for. Last week, he came away with 16 completions for 173 yards and an interception, plus 11 yards on the ground. But so far in preseason, the Raiders' defense has been able to hold up their own against opposing quarterbacks. The Patriots do have plenty of other weapons offensively from Lil Jordan Humphrey to Trey Nixon that they can showcase in tomorrow's game. So it'll be another good test for the Raiders young secondary. Last week, this defense did a great job against the Dolphins first team. So we'll see if they can do that same exact thing versus a Patriots team that they're familiar with. 
again. This is the last preseason game of the 2022 season, and the Raiders are undefeated at 3-0. But we'll see if this team can come out of Las Vegas a perfect 4-0. Ben Affey, I have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. For my matchup of this game, it was pretty hard for me because I don't really know who's going to be playing out there. I mean, the Raiders really don't release any of the roster until the day of. And the Patriots, on the other hand, I don't know. But in this matchup, I have Joshua McDaniels versus Bill Belichick, a.k.a. the student versus the teacher. Like I said before, even though this is just another preseason game and we won't be seeing many starters, this game will come down to coaching. And so far in the preseason, McDaniels has been able to lead this Raiders team to victory in every single game. Whether he's had his starters out there or even his third stringers. On the other hand, the Patriots are going into this game 1-1 one and one in the preseason. And I doubt that Bill Belichick will show many of his cards in this game. Especially knowing that they will be seeing each other later on in the season. But that doesn't mean that he ain't got nothing up his sleeve. Both coaches have been able to evaluate each other's teams during the joint practices these past couple of days. So we'll see who can adjust come game time. Going into this game, like I said many times before, even though we're unsure who will be playing, just to see these two guys go head to head for the very first time as head coaches in Las Vegas is going to be fun to watch. Knock on wood if you have that message, please. And we're here to help. Now I've got three things to watch in this game. The first thing being Alex Leatherwood. Now we've talked about Alex Leatherwood a lot these past couple of days, especially after the last game, because he played really, really bad. And we already know that he's not gonna be the answer for us at right tackle. But with so many speculations about the Raiders moving him back inside to the guard position, I wanna see if the Raiders are actually gonna do that in this game. I know he's gonna be a player that's gonna get a lot of PT in this game because I know that this new regime still has questions out there and us Raider fans still have questions as well, whether or not the Raiders should keep him on the roster or possibly trade him away. This is possibly gonna be Alex Leatherwood's most important preseason game because if there's one thing that we've learned from this new regime is that they ain't afraid to cut ties with players that were drafted or was picked up from the former regime. With that said though, with all the frustration going around, you know, of Alex Leatherwood playing on the offense offensive line or especially at the right tackle position I want to ask you guys do you guys feel like the Raiders should give him a chance and just keep him as a depth chart piece on the roster or should we find a trade partner or possibly let him go let me know your thoughts down in the comments below the second thing to watch in this game is going to be that battle between you know running back Britton Brown and Austin Walter these are two guys that really stood out to me the most in preseason I know that we already have our running back room set right now with Josh Jacobs Brandon Bowden Zamir White and even Amir Abdullah but I would love the Raiders to keep one or even two of these guys on the practice squad. If there's one thing to take away from any of these preseason games is that our running back room is really, really deep and we have a solid running back core. Every single one of these running backs, including Austin Walter and Britton Brown, have shown some flashes of being a great running back, other than, you know, Kenny and Drake, who recently uh, released. But looking at the preseason so far, Britton Brown in only two games has came away with 23 carries for 124 yards and one touchdown. Andrew Walter, on the other hand, through three games, has come away with 17 carries for 84 yards and a touchdown. So going into this game, I'm going to be looking out to who stands out the most out of these two running backs, you know, between Britton Brown and Austin Walter. If I had to choose one right now, I would kind of lean towards Austin Walter because he's a guy that has really looked explosive throughout the preseason. But Raider Nation, let me know who you guys would choose if you guys had to choose one of these guys to stay on this team. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, the last thing to really look out for is this run defense. I mean, there's been a lot of talks, a lot of good things that we've heard in the joint practices about our run defense and how good they look. So I want to see if they could put that same energy on the field tomorrow night and see if they can contain this Patriots running game, even get to the quarterback. Now, the guys that I will be keeping an eye on, especially on this defensive line, is going to be Myron Tungamailo, Almosa, Kyle Pecco, Andrew Billings, and Kendall Vickers. So with that said, who are you looking forward to watching in this game? What is your game score prediction? And are you going to be in Las Vegas for this game? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. Until the next video, this is your boy, Samoa Raider, and your boy is, yeah. Started off in Oakley, now we here. Now we Thought that we was done, we just hit another gear, look. Started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Hey, pull up with the nation in the silver black gear, look. Four games straight, we in the playoffs. Shout out to the Chargers fans, y'all enjoy the layoff.